Hey, what's going on? This is Grant David with Static Multimedia, and we got another exclusive interview for you today. We are talking to King Medallions himself, Planet Asia, and he's here to answer a few questions and tell us a little bit about his newest album, Black Belt Theater, due to hit the streets February 28th, 2012. So without further ado, let's welcome Planet Asia. So how are you doing today, Mr. P.A.? I'm good, man. Um, I saw that last night you got to meet Jill Scott. Uh, how was that? Uh, it was cool. It was quick. It was a quick thing. It was at the Wu-Tang show. Oh, that's what's up. Uh, how was that show? Well, it was cool, man. It show was dope. Cool, cool. You think there's uh, any any possibility of a, a Jill Scott Planet Asia collab? I doubt that. <laughs> you don't think so? Nah, I'm not on her radar like that shit <laughs> on Planet Asia. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. All right, so uh, let's let's get down to business. You got you got the new installment, Black Belt Theater, coming out uh, on February twenty eighth. Can you give us a little background information on the album? You know, like what was the uh, concept and the idea that sparked this project? Oh uh, man, my love for the um, for the uh, old school martial arts flicks. They used to come on a show called Black Belt Theater. Yeah, they came on weekend. Came on every weekend when I was a kid. I used to catch it after my soccer games. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I um, would uh, definitely get hyped off of that, go outside and try to, try to, try to make the move. <laughs> I mean, but nah, that was a big, that was a big uh, influence in my childhood. So, you know, hip hop and martial arts is one of the things, it's like basketball and, and hip hop. So it was like, I, I, I had to pay homage, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For and I got sure. all, my, all my peers and friends on the album to kind of push like that too because we all, you know, everybody that has new music with, man, we all kind of like, even if we didn't know each other growing up, we all kind of live in the same parallel, you know, lives. For sure, for sure. Down, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then who are some of the featured artists on the album that we can look forward to seeing? You got any uh, supreme guest spots? Uh, Chase Infant and Rascal, Willie the Kid, Bashan, Talib Wali. Mr. Fab, Neil the Gift. Nice. Um, Raekwon, um, uh, Paul Wall, my man, Dan D. Wache, Rogue Venom, Tri State, Killer Ben. It's crazy. The album is crazy. And which, uh, which artists were you, uh, most excited to work with? Oh, the Capo. Capo. I had fun with Capo. <laughs> Why was that? So they are hilarious. Those dudes, man, are fun to be around, man. Like, they're serious. They got serious work ethic, but they're cool guys off, off the, uh, you know, off the, uh, off the camera, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what, was there anyone that you uh, really wanted to work with but didn't get that chance to for whatever reason? Uh, I would have liked to get, um, like, somebody from the West Coast that was a veteran, but, yeah. you know, I don't, it's hard for me to get to these dudes. I don't, you know, I, I go with those who rap with me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Any one of the better ones would have been cool, but I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that, that's about. Maybe yeah. On the next one. And then I, I read in the press release that you really wanted to, you really wanted this album to feel like a movie. And I've I've heard some of the tracks off the album, and and to me, when I listen to it, you know, it makes me feel like uh, like I'm in Pulp Fiction or uh, or Jackie Brown. Was was that the type of was that the type of atmosphere you were trying to you know cultivate? That's right. You know, the whole shaft, the shaft slash Jim Kelly style. You know what I mean? Yeah. Try to get that off. You know, it's like you know, you know, it's like you know, you know, it's hardcore, but you know, fun at the same time. Like the album, man. It's really just a good vibe. Uh, it's like they just had a lot of good vibes on it. Yeah. It like I put everybody in the in the right with the right pain. You know what I mean? Like Willie the Kid, Matt Sean. Like that was a perfect combination to have those two on um, a song. You know what I mean? So they they're, they're both young and coming up, and two of my favorites. I have both of them on one song was was, was like a blessing. And yeah. they get a rap, you know, like combinations like Rascal and Chase Infinite. Rascal never did a song with Self Scientific, even though we all been around each other for years. But that's just a crazy combination. Like so when people see that, like, oh shit. Yeah. Chase, Bob, you know, <laughs> I mean, Chase, I mean, Chase, Rascal, uh, Social Recipe. It's like, you know, 
Yeah. I got me and Ray Kwan over old no people. So it's like, you know, that's a crazy relationship right there. How to hit you with something that's not so obvious, you know what I mean? Yeah, something that hasn't been done before. Huh? Something that hasn't been done before, yeah. Something you wouldn't wouldn't expect. And then what 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 was your uh, favorite track off the new album? Uh, it, it changes every day. Right now it's uh, oh I can't forget I let Jack, Jack and Mitchie Slick out. I got the song with Jack and Mitchie Slick. That's one of my favorite songs on the album. The song with Jack and Mitchie Slick. Nice, nice. Actually, it's fire. It's yeah. On, uh, external motors. That song is about being around people you don't need to be around. Who, who designed the uh, the album artwork for the Black Belt Theater? Because I, I thought that was, you know, very interesting. I, I, I love it. I love it. It's awesome. My homegirl, Ainan, who goes by Nan Live on Twitter. Oh, yeah. She's a big uh, Stone Stone, Nan Live, Nan, Jay Dillon fanatic, and she goes to art school. You yeah. know what I mean? She's dope, you know? Yeah, it was awesome. I, I loved it. Yeah, that's that's yeah, she, and that's what I wanted. She did. She nailed that. You know what I mean? Yeah. She nailed the cover, and I was like, cool, man. Um, she did. She also did the cracks in the vinyl. Uh, uh, artwork for me. Oh, really? With the Malibu. Yeah, she did that. Those too. So, yeah, I like I like her artwork, man. Like, I hope more people get to know who Malibu is because she's she's a force to be reckoned with as far as that artwork goes. Yeah, it, it was dope. It looked like, um, you know, one of those old movie posters, too. I mean, it, it, it was, right. it, it, it brought a very cohesive feel to the whole project, I thought, you know, the artwork alone. Right. And then, um, right. and then uh, you know, Black Belt Theater is being released through Wandering Works, correct? In Canada, yes. Yeah, okay. And then I know that, but I know you started Gold Chain Music a few years back. So what's yeah. the status with Gold I'm Chain sure Music now? Music. Yeah, we're still putting out music, um... When's that gonna be out? That coming up sometime this year. It's all that's been finished, so okay. we're looking for that song. And that's right that's now, you know, we're in Black Belt Theater season, man. And I'm, I'm trying to my only thing, man. I just wanna I just wanna uh actually feel like I just wanna feel like somebody actually hearing my fucking music. Yeah. That's all. And why is it that you feel like that? Do you feel that you haven't gotten your just dues? You haven't um, been given the attention that you deserve? I don't know, man. I, I still don't feel like I've gotten it yet. Like, I've been feeling regular, man. Like, you know, uh, like, you know, like, 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 some radio friendly, trying to get in cool with radio programmers and, and you know, really listen to what they say and try to play that game. But I never really wanted to play that game because I, I don't like to play the uh, popularity contest, you know, or, or, you know, uh, I got to do whatever, whatever is uh, a hot thing in the industry or whatever. I just like to make music for people that like to, make, that like to listen to the type of music that I like to listen to. And I just want those people to be fed, man. I just want the people that listen to all the ill shit to, to, to at least, you know, give me a ear so they can be like, oh, shit. And I guarantee you, anybody here about the that listen to real hip-hop, they're going to be like, oh, I'll fuck with that. You know, so that's, that's what I'm on right now, man. I just want my fan base to get my music. And that's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm trying to do. Like, I want to see the videos and hear the leakers and whatever I do, man, and, and come support. Because I'm just having fun, man. You yeah. know what I mean? You don't have to go. Well, and what what would happen if, you know, if Black Belt Theater, you know, uh, you know, blew up bigger than you expected it to be and it found, um, you know, mainstream success? Would, would you be opposed to that? Hell no. No. But I tell you what, I tell you what would happen, though. And what's that? If I did, I, if I did blow up like that, I would have been like, oh, shit, I'm going to be 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 like
I mean, whoever I would put somebody on, I, I would I would get me a young cat that that that's ill and mold them up to be a great artist too. That's what I really want to do. I just want to make money so I can put people on. The one I can't really put people on like the way I want to put people on because I'm not putting a provision that I am. Because I don't, I'm not with all this fucking clicky, clicky bullshit, you know. Yeah. Rules, you know, like, this dude that I used to know that was humble when we first got in the game, they started working for certain cats and now, you know, they acted all Hollywood and shit. And then, you know, you, know, you start making a little noise, then they want to start being friendly with you again. And I'm like, oh, the industry is so fucking fake. Yeah. Well, I don't, I don't like all that, so I'm just like, I took the long route. Yeah. But if it happens, trust me, I'm, I'm bring, I'm bring a whole squad with me. Oh well, yeah, yeah. We, will, I would, I for one would love to see that happen. You know, I think that you would put on the ones that deserve to be put on. You know, the ones that deserve to be hurt. Right. Cause if you, ask, ask how my hand on skills. I like, I know good music. I can hear somebody. I don't care where you're from either. You can be from Alaska. Yeah. If if you you got it, I'ma hear it. Yeah. And I'ma know like, oh shit. Oh, he, he got the, he got that real shit right like there. Yeah. Well, and then, um, you know, moving on. So I, I had this question. Is, is Black Belt Theater at all a sequel or an extension of your uh, 2010 album Crack Belt Theater? Yep. It is an extension. Crack, you know what's funny? Crack Belt Theater to me was like a parody of what Black Belt Theater really is. Yeah. Crack Belt Theater was like, we were just playing around joking one day, and I just, I just happened to say crack out there, and we all started laughing. Yeah. And we just start, we just start taking all these crack, uh, crack inserts from different crackheads talking, <laughs> and it was, it was the interlude, and that was the album, basically. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you know what's funny? I really like crack up there. Crack up there is one of my greater works. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. It's like coming full circle. Right. Yeah, okay, I got you, I got you. So do you think that there's uh, any possibilities that you're going to shoot any music videos for any of the tracks of that new album? Oh, hell yeah. I just shot a, I shot a video for uh, Golden State. Oh, you just did Golden State, huh? Yeah, it's crazy. It should be dropping. It should be dropping in a, in a, in a, in a, in a minute. Yeah, where did, you, uh, where did you shoot that at? I shot that at Indianapolis. Oh, yeah? And what's the, uh, what's the concept for the video? Uh, it's crazy. I can't give it out the way to where you're going to love it. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Well, a lot of character. have a lot of character. All right, well, well, we'll be on the lookout for that one. Um, do you think yeah. Do you think that there's any uh, chance that you're going to be touring at all with Black Belt Theater? Are you going to do any shows? Yeah, I should be touring next month. Next month? I'll be coming out to, out to the East Coast, everywhere, man. Black Belt Theater worldwide. Yeah. And, um, and then I, I, getting a little bit, um off topic on a side note I was just curious and I hope that you don't mind me asking about this but what happened with the whole Interscope deal because I was very excited to see that you signed with them but you know it seemed very short lived ah oh, man I was there I was there for three years man yeah you know what happened what happened was Tom Wiley went to Warner Brothers the cat that signed me yeah he, I mean, he came over there he knew what he was doing they didn't know what to do man they kept after me from here and there wanted me to try this producer try that producer and at that time, to be the real, I hadn't found myself yet. Even though people loved the old planet and shit, when I was doing all that shit, I was still young, man. I was still practicing my music. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I was fresh off of coming out of freestyle cycles and shit. You know what I mean? Like street hop. That's why I call my shit street hop. I'm a real MC. Yeah. So I just happened to get, I happened to get my uh, deal quicker than uh, the average cat that starts riding. Because I, you know. Maybe that's just in my head that I was that I was underdeveloped, but I'm just saying like I know what I got now is different. So that time it was a great learning experience. You know what Interscope was for me? What's that? It was it was like going to college because I didn't I never attended a university. I went straight to Interscope out of high school. Oh. So I was like, you know, two years out of high school, I was going to college. Yeah. And I took that shit like So would you say that you you know you learned about a lot about what the industry was like through your uh, you know Interscope workings? Not only 
not only those girls go, you know what I think, man? I don't, I don't basically name music within every independent label that, that, that exists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I've, I've done, I've been through every different aspect and chamber of this, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it's not just Cusco, but being able to be on Interscope and drop an independent record on Land Speed, you know what I'm saying, while I was on Interscope, that was unheard of, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. And that, I doing in 90, I mean, in 2000 and shit like that, wasn't nobody doing that, man. No, and no. Now that's a regular, it's a regular thing now to be on a major label and drop an independent record on any album. That, that's like where you like, like, you almost retired from that shit, you know what I'm saying? When I was doing that shit, that was then illegal. Like, you know, they were like, man, what the fuck are you doing? You know, the this music. I'm like, nah, man. You know, I'm fucking out of me. Now, look. Understand the format. Yeah, now, yeah, you, you were, you, I think you were a little ahead of your time on that one. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody does this shit now, you know? So, so moving forward, you know, what does the future hold for the King, for King Medallions? You know, uh, where do you think you'll be at in like five years? I'm glad, I'm, I'm glad you asked about Medallion. You know, he's a kid. Medallion? Yeah. Medallion, Medallion is, is, is like, he's about to come bust, bust in on, um, Planet Asia shit. Because, uh, Medallion is like, man, fuck Black Bell Theater. Medallion is like, nigga, it's time to get this money. And his shit's coming out of me right now. Yeah. And I'm trying to hold, I'm trying to hold him back. And until at least Black Bell Theater dies down, but Medallion, he is, he's just, he's just like, excited me, my man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh I, can't, I can't wait, man. Um, all right. Well, you know, before I let you go, you know, I would just like to thank you for taking time out of your day and talking with me. And you know, I and the rest of Aesthetic Multimedia, you know, genu- genuinely appreciate that, man. That's that's real cool of you. Man. Oh, man, I, I rock with y'all, man. Good. All right, man. Well, uh, you know, uh, good good luck on Black Belt Theater and the uh, drop in February twenty eighth. For sure. All right, man. And then I'll send you. Uh, I'll make sure you get a link of the uh, the article when it's up on the website and everything. I uh, really appreciate it again. All right. All right, man. Have a good day. You too. Leave a voice message. Press one.